Send me radio. We promote the gospel. It's universal salvation. If you need that forgiveness, you can receive it tonight. Shout hallelujah. The anointing breaks the yoke. Hear Dr. Paul N. Vincent preach the anointed word of God that changes lives and brings salvation, healing, and deliverance. Invite him to minister in your church, conference, or crusade. Also read his life-changing books in the Persistent Works series. For more information about inviting Dr. Vincent to minister or to order his books, visit vincentpaulministriesinternational.com. God bless you. Hello, listeners. We're here today with the president of Kingdom Power Ministries. He's the husband of a beautiful wife, a major in the U.S. Army Reserve. He is a published writer, an international minister, and he's currently running as an independent candidate in the upcoming November 2020 elections here in the United States as a senator for Texas. His name is none other than our Bishop Major Paul Vincent. And he's going to tell us a bit about his ministry, his job, as a chaplain in the U.S. Army and his candidacy in the upcoming U.S. 2020 elections. Bishop Major Paul Vincent, thank you so much, sir, for talking to us here on Send Me Radio. Well, thank you so much, and I want to give God praise for the opportunity to speak with you today. So, um, from a ministry um, standpoint, as you already have said, um, our ministry name is Kingdom Power um, Ministries International, also known as Kingdom Power Chapel, and... It's a young local church here in El Paso, and we want to thank God for what God has been doing. God has been touching lives and changing lives here in El Paso. But um, it's also a launching pad for an international ministry. So I have an international ministry who travel and preach to the nations of the world a lot. In 2018 and 2019, I traveled to 20 different cities and nations each of those years, and um, and both across Europe, across Africa, and here in the U.S. also. So I want to thank God for the privilege to be able to minister to people about before then um, on my military side I'm also a chaplain in the US Army so I'm, I see the military as a missions field so the missions field of the of the US military I was on the active duty for about five years I have had a total of Actually, on, on Saturday, May 2nd, was my 12th anniversary of my military ministry, you know. Wow. So I've had five years of um, reserve ministry, um, serving as a reserve chaplain. And then I came active. I did five years of active duty, almost five years. And then I switched back to the reserve. So the reserve gives me more time to be able to do civilian ministry, you know, and also military but act, while i was active duty um i didn't do a lot of civilian ministry it was more of active duty ministry and during that time i also deployed to jordan and um uh, and i had a great ministry while we were deployed because i was privileged to baptize 55 soldiers um in river jordan where jesus wow. was baptized so that was a major ministry we had at that time so but since i stepped out of the reserve out of active duty to reserve i've been able to have more time for civilian ministry so i've been able to travel and minister across and and then also, and because I'm in the reserve, I'm able to run for office, you know, which is why I'm running for the U.S. Senate um, to represent Texas um, coming November 3rd election as an independent candidate. So that way I didn't have to have any obligation to any ties to the Republican or the Democrat side. So I just want to thank God for what he has helped us to accomplish and what is helping us to accomplish so far. Um, originally from Nigeria, um, but I've been... God has been helping us. Uh, my wife also, we are both from Nigeria originally. But um, this is my sixth going to 70 here in Texas. You know, But before Amen. Texas, we were in New York. We were in New York for, I was in New York for eight years. Uh, my wife was there much longer than me um, before we moved down here. So I believe that God has a plan and a purpose. And every time God has a plan, the enemy will want to throw things to, to destroy the plan of God. But God always knows, has the final word. He also knows how to always towards the plans of the enemy and give us the victory. Amen. Praise you God. Know, it's, a, it's an honor to have a man of yeah. God in the U.S. government. That's right. Uh, and also, uh, one question, sir. Um, is... is uh, voting only open to the people of texas or is it to the entire united states yeah so um well everyone who is a u.s citizen can vote in elections like for the presidency for instance um but for the senate 
um since it's you uh, um u.s um senator representing texas so that will be only for those in texas all over texas so those who are in of course every state have their own um, 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 um senators and house of reps so every sen- every state is entitled to two senate seats and because they have what you call staggered election so it is not everybody in the senate doesn't go out at the same time and everybody doesn't come in at the same time so every state they have a senator whose term is up so they can only do one election for the for each of the two senate you know at one election like now is one of the slots um the last time 2018 the other guy you know ted cruz so this time around after this one the next election that will be for a senate will be 2024 because it's a it's a six-year term you okay. know so those anyone who is in in, in texas and who is um, a U.S. citizen, of course, can vote for me as a senator, but for all other, you know, offices being contested for. Okay, and yeah. is voting only open on the day of election? Yeah, so it's open on the day, but they have early votings. So early votings, um, mainly, I think maybe like two, three weeks before, a month before then, they will normally announce the day. But with coronavirus and everything happening, there is a talk about mailing voting, but I'm not sure that will fly because they fear there is more room for fraud, you know, for okay. people to abuse the system. So election has to be very credible and people have to believe whatever result that comes out of it. So if there's any system that will make people to exploit it and there will be a lot of fraud, there have been places where they've had dead people, people who have been dead a long time ago, voting by mail, you know. So people don't trust that, especially Texas doesn't trust vote by mail. So, But the only people who vote by mail is um, the military, for instance, when we are deployed and people who are like, 65 and above the elderly who have some health issues they can't come out they have provisions where they can vote you know they can mail in their ballot but apart from that in a general sense of it it's not like for everybody so okay. people are normally going to go to, and hopefully the coronavirus pandemic we are trusting god is going to subside it's going to things will life will return back to normal you know Amen. so that um by november nobody will have any fear of you know the pandemic or coronavirus to go vote yes you know. bishop thank you so much for joining us here on send me radio thanks so much. and you know for talking to us and you know letting the public know yeah. about your ministry and also your seat yeah. sorry in the upcoming elections yeah thank um, you so much uh, you know, uh, would you like to share the contact details with the listeners for your ministry and also how they can go about doing some more about um, Yeah, yes. so f- for our listeners who are in here in Paso, anywhere in Paso, or maybe on the east side of Paso, and we want to encourage you to come worship with us. Um, Kingdom Power Ministries, we are located on 11829 Gwen Events Lane, El Paso, Texas, 79936. We are on the east side. Our website, our ministry website is um, www.kingdompowerchapel.com or www.vincentpaulorg.com. Now, on the political side, I want to encourage them to also visit our website, and that is www.bishopvincentforsenate.com. That is www.bishopvincentforsenate.com. We have a lot of materials and, and videos and most of our itineraries and things that will, they will give them more information about our Sinetron. So I really trust God that uh, and we look forward to, you know, the support of your listeners, those in Texas especially. No, those in the U.S. because you don't have to be in Texas to support me, but for the voting, that's where it has to be Texas. But, I mean, you can help us get the word out anywhere you are in the U.S. especially. You can help us get the word out, send people to our website, even donate to support our campaign. But at the end of the day, and when it comes to the voting, that's when we need people only within Texas. You know? okay. So I want to thank God. I want to appreciate you for your time. And thanks so much for speaking with me today. All right. Bishop Major Paul Vincent. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, God bless you. God bless you.